Hey, what's up, everybody? So I'm going to talk about speed ramps in Avid today. And what do I use as the term speed ramp? Something that goes really fast to really slow. That is what uh, I use the term. I'm sure there's different terms for it. But something going from slow to fast or from fast to slow motion. That is what I term a speed ramp. And in today's case, I made a bin of my favorite speed ramps. I don't know, 10, 11 of them. That There is a link down in the description. If you open this bin and drag and drop these effects onto a clip, um, you should have a nice speed ramp. So in this case, what are speed ramps the best for? Definitely drone shots or something that has a lot of movement into it. So in this case, this woman is running down a hallway. She turns around and then she goes back down another long hallway with the camera following her to come and finally hug uh, this woman. So that has the potential for a speed ramp because the camera is moving in a, a lot of different space, right? That's the idea of a drone shot is good with speed ramps. So in this case, I put this speed ramp 2033, my favorite speed ramp effect, and here is what happened, right? She's going super fast, she turns around, and then all of a sudden it goes really slow. This same effect I used um, for a shot, um, coming down off the ceiling to a man walking out and then again him walking really fast slow motion he shakes hands that is my favorite speed ramp this 2034 to 33 percent jib move i'm gonna go over with you right now what these number is how to adjust these and how to put these on so let's imagine that you put this one onto a clip so if you go into effects mode What's going to come up in effect editor is this fluid motion edit. That's not going to really help you in this case. What you need to do is go to tools and open your motion effect editor. Now if I go back to my second monitor here, and you're going to see a visual representation of the keyframes and what happened with the speed. So in this case, before the clip even started, it was at... Uh, what was it? 506%. It says That's what it says here. It's usually, it's not as accurate as you would think it would be, but it rounds up and down, right? And then it's 500%, and then there's a keyframe, and then it falls off a cliff, and it goes down to 23%. And so that's what's happening. If we look at this video here, she's moving at 500%, and then she's moving in slow-mo at 23%. You can see the visual representation. You're going from 500% down to 20%. And how do you adjust this? Very easily. You would kick on a keyframe and you could go up and down. You could make another keyframe if you wanted to and start slow and then have it go up fast to 500%. You could even have it go up much further. This sliders right here um, lets you see more of where you are either horizontally or vertically, right? So you can even bring it up to 2000 percent which you know which is more of a speed ramp that i like to talk about and then when you get to here let's see what we're at here you're down to below 50 percent you're down to 23 percent so you're making this visual representation either going up the fast or down fast okay this is a speed ramp one thing to think about with these keyframes you can i like to use the spline um i definitely do not recommend doing linear but you definitely can use a bezier keyframe and in this case, let's see, I go to Bezier, and then let's see if I can move this, let it make some room here, right? And then I can adjust handles accordingly, whichever way you want to. I'm going to control Z all that. And before I crash here, I just want to point out that these speed ramps, they take a long time to render. Don't be surprised. Five second clips might take five minutes. And it might crash your computer. If you don't have a powerful enough GPU, CPU, yada, 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 it might crash your computer. So don't blame me. Don't blame the bin. This is a powerful, powerful speed ramp. I'm going to show you a way to do it where it doesn't take so much render time and all that stuff. But this is what, in this bin, in these clips, if you take them, that is a definite possibility. So one other thing to think about is what these clips, the type, the source, the output, and how you can make one from scratch on your own. If you open your effect palette and go down to Time Warp, there is also a clip called Time Warp. I don't use any of these other ones myself um, for speed ramps. I just use Time Warp. And then I would drag that. I'm not going to drag that on right now. 
I would drag that onto a clip and then I would go into effects mode and I would be exactly where we just were. If I can find it, my where to happen to my motion effect editor, there it is. And you would do the same thing. You would set keyframes, you would adjust keyframes, and you would talk about what type do you want to do. Fluid motion is kind of Avid's coolest, best, longest to render way of interpolating frames as far as slow motion and fast motion. And you can see the same thing with source or output. I'm working with a television show that shoots interlaced 60i. So on my sources interlaced. Output's not probably as big a deal. Interlaced or pro progressive. I just did a test. Some of these are interlaced. Some of these are progressive. You're not going to see a big difference. Um, sometimes your source might be progressive, right? If you were shooting DSLR, 24p, 30p, your source might be progressive. The only thing to really think about with these two is, hey, if you put on the effect, you render it, and you're like, wow, that looks really watery. That uh, looks really steppy. That effect is not working right. Adjust these settings right here between interlaced and progressive, and that might be... Uh, all the difference right so that is speed ramps using time warp and the one thing other thing I want to show you is some clip I did right here just did an example of this think about a speed way to do speed ramps without using time warp and you, very precise without moving keyframes and without re-rendering everything is very good so I have this clip here and let me go to the back to the original and we have this person yeah going down a hallway he comes back and right in front of the camera and he yells something at the camera pretty cool spot to do something fast to slow so what I would do is let's say go up to the point doesn't even matter go right past the did it and I'm gonna hit the motion effect editor this is your regular way just to adjust slow motion uh, fast stuff hopefully you know how to use this and in this case I would go let's say 900 percent not gonna strobe it yet do anything like that you want to deal with the fields in this case because we're using interlaced footage I want to use interpolated field I almost always move my any of my motion effects to interpolated field and now I have this 900 percent clip right and he just went by the camera so now if I step through and I get to that point where I want him to yell into the camera let's go right there now I match frame I match frame into my original clip not the motion effect clip back to the original clip and now I'm gonna go I don't know let's go 30 percent interpolated field let's create and render and you see these renders are taking seconds as opposed to the time warp renders that I gave you in the bin they're going to take minutes so fast to slow right fast to slow and you really want you can get really uh, precise and again by match framing you can do it by the frame so let's say I wanted to go back fast let's do another one at 950 and then maybe when he opens the door we'll go back to slow right and I can extend it if I wanted to and there he is opening the door so let's match frame into that yep not the motion effect the original clip match frame and I'm going to slow mo this one, let's say 25%, um, especially for something like you made in After Effects and you want to speed it up, you could do it this way. And now, whoops, maybe not too that far, but let's render that. This way it'll play down for us. You should have, unless I mess this up, fast to slow, right? So I just made fast to slow, fast to to slow speed ramp either way anyway and that is a really cool way of doing it without using time warp I like this time warp and that's why I gave you these clips in the bin because I can just drag and drop them without necessarily having to do that and in this case like I said I get some really cool fast to slow motion there um, there was one thing else I wanted to say and do, but I completely forgot because that's probably because I just drink too much beer coming off the big Labor Day weekend. But uh, hopefully that helps you with speed ramps. Hopefully you use this bin in the future. Avidbeer.com. I will see you in the next video.